What's up guys? Today we are going to talk about why we decided to start couples therapy. Yeah. And it might not be for the reason that you probably think. Yeah. It might not be because we want to get divorced. We've been married for a couple weeks <laughs> and we're like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, like eight weeks and we're like, nah. <sighs> yeah, major moves in our life. We moved to the suburbs and just. <laughs> and then gave we up. break up, yeah. It gave up. Um, yeah, so for any of you that follow Jesse or myself independently, um, we both talked a little bit about our own experiences with therapy mm -hmm. as individuals and uh, just they've been profound and for both of us I think I believe it's safe to say that it's like one of the best decisions we've ever made mm -hmm. again for ourselves individually and so we've always kind of been open to this idea of couples therapy um, you know kind of similarly to why we started therapy in the first place is like more of a proactive reason mm -hmm. um we were in a little bit of a rough spot each last year but it was still we weren't like deeply depressed or deeply yeah upset it was, it, or like we didn't go through a trauma i mean right. we had like a like some illness issues that definitely were traumatic to us during that time yeah. but we weren't we didn't go through like like an astronomical trauma or anything like yeah. that so for the most part it was still a proactive choice um best thing we've done and so we're like why not do it for couples then because it seems to make sense that we'd want to work on a relationship like we're working on ourselves yeah yeah so um i i have been doing therapy for just about just under a year but i had been working with a life coach who basically was my therapist for four over four years so I have always been open to the self-development, personal development side of things. And then he also is as well. And, um, and yeah, just like he said, like couples therapy, we, we really wanted to make sure that we could support our relationship and kind of move forward with that. We, we had no idea what it was like going into it. In fact, when we met with our therapist the other day, we, um, I kind of asked her, I'm like, I don't really understand how this works mm -hmm. because it is a little bit different. From what I found, um, it's, it isn't like you go every week and talk about the same things like you would with your, with your regular therapist. It's a little bit more like you go through it, you come up with, um, some different things you need to work on some different, like, um, I don't know. What am I trying to say? Like, like ways to work through things, and then um, you can like come back as needed. It's not necessarily like an every week kind of thing, unless that's what you want. So, so yeah, we like Ben said last year we had we went through a really really difficult part of um, our lives separately, but then together we had a very big bump in our relationship. It was a very scary big bump for us as well. And at that time is actually when we decided that we were going to continue with the relationship, we did decide that we would at some point go to couples therapy. Um, at the time we were thinking we were gonna go, or at least I was thinking we were gonna go for, to get through that part. Mm -hmm. But it actually for us worked better to work separately with therapists because the issues we were having and bringing together into our relationship were individual. So it was something that we could both kind of go work through and like tell someone else what was going on instead of only burdening each other. Even my therapist said this the other day, um, I think everyone can benefit from therapy in some way. You don't need to, I mean, obviously if you've been through trauma or anything like that, it's definitely something you should look into, but just living your life, having the stressors that we have on us in this day and age, working a full-time job, being a parent, be anything like this, like having someone to go to and talk to, it doesn't matter if you don't think that your problems are that big. It really doesn't matter. It's just nice to have someone to talk to, whether you're single in a relationship. In a relationship for me, um, because Benjamin is my best friend, um, I have other friends, but like Ben is my person, I want to tell him everything, which in turn, can be a lot for him um, and vice versa, mm -hmm. vice versa. So 
<laughs> like being able to go and talk to someone and like get some of these things off of your chest, how you're feeling, have them help you work through things, how you can talk to your partner about something in a different way, like super helpful. So anyway, I'm like really pushing individual therapy right now. I really think that it's worth it even, or like a life coach if you aren't really into uh, therapy. If you get like a strictly a life coach, like for example, when I started working with my life coach, I strictly was working with her for like the blockages I had or the big blocks I had around relationships. She was a relationship coach because I was very much not interested in dating someone. Um, so I was able to work through my issues around trusting men um, with her. So. So yeah, it's just like, I don't wanna like get off on too much of a tangent because that's what I do and that's what he does, but that's why we really believe in individual therapy, not only for yourself, for your relationships, your friendships, your job, your everything, like it can be really helpful. For couples therapy, we're really excited to get started and we really wanted to make a video and we can make like continued video if you guys are interested because I don't think there should be a stigma around it. Ben and I are in no way at like at like a breaking point. We're not planning to get divorced. We're not hating each other. There has been no cheating. There has been like literally nothing wrong. We just want to find ways to work better together as a team. So for example, we are both stubborn. We are both very independent. We sometimes struggle depending on each other or like issues kind of around that we have had to learn different ways to communicate with each other since being together it's hard being a person and bringing <laughs> another person into your life it's just hard um so for us being able to work with someone that'll help us through some of those issues and be able to and i don't even want to say issues because it's not like something we're fighting about right. constantly but they are things that do spark fights sometimes and do yep. spark irritation or you know resentfulness even sometimes and we want to be able to work through those things find different tangible ways that we can communicate better so that none of those little fights turn into something bigger someday and yep. do cause some of those bigger issues like divorce or things like that so so yeah, it's, it really is like preventative. Like if you are going to get your checkup every year, we are going to go to therapy for preventative me measures to be able to make ourselves emotionally healthy. Does that make sense? Yeah. Healthier as people and then in a relationship as well. Yeah. Is there anything I'm missing with what that? What she said. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, our... What was your experience like the other day? So we went to our first couples therapy. Um, we can tell you just a little bit about that and then we'll cut the video because they're always very long. But, and like I said, if you're interested, we would be happy to tell you anything about what's going on in therapy. We're pretty open to that. But what was your experience like at our first couples therapy? Ah, let, me, let me sit up for this one. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm like falling into the couch here. <laughs> uh, first experience, it was, interesting um i was a little bit nervous on the way there which was like kind of interesting to me as well because i wasn't expecting to be it was also a three I've... minute drive so you didn't have very didn't long have very nervous. long to be nervous <laughs> yeah um uh, i'm always nervous in new situations i think you know most people are right like if you're not familiar with something mm -hmm. you're going to something totally new it makes sense uh but i wasn't totally expecting to feel that i thought i'd be comfortable having done therapy it was just interesting how she structured it, kind of like Jesse said before. It's a little bit different. There's a little, there's a little more structure about how you can go about it. Um, I really liked her. Mm -hmm. Our I therapist. liked being in a room together and having a safe space to talk about things. Uh, and yeah, so I'm like excited to go forward. We actually have like an individual session each coming up next which I think is super cool. I didn't really think through this, but it makes a lot of sense that they would do that to talk to each of us individually, try to figure out our history, where we're at, our story, and then bring us back together to like start this thing for, for good. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. 
we did decide in these individual things um, that we're going to sit in on each other's individual. She, our therapist said that that's not super, something she does with everyone. So, so yeah, the, we decided we're going to sit in on each other's uh, individual things because they won't they won't necessarily be about our relationship they'll be about yeah. um, his childhood how he was raised some of the issues he he deals with and then vice versa so it'll be good for me to be sitting there as a silent member of the therapy that will not be something that I'm taking part in and vice versa so that we can kind of hear even more about each other's story we know a lot of it because Ben and I have always been very open together, yep. but I think that it, it never hurts to reiterate some of that stuff. Yep. Um, like I said, um, she doesn't do that with everyone, and if that's not something you're comfortable with, she would never even offer that. Mm -hmm. It's just she could tell immediately that we were both very open to, to that kind of thing, so she asked if, us if we were interested in doing it a little bit differently. So that'll be interesting. We're going back next week and it'll be Ben's turn to go first. Um, and then we'll go back a week later and do my turn. And then we'll do a fourth visit, which will be um, another actual joint couples. We're both talking. And from there we'll decide if she is the right therapist for us or if we would prefer to work with someone else. Um, that's about the time that she asks and decide or you both decide us and her if it is the right fit and from there you kind of move forward and and work on certain things that you want to work on so so yeah we're super pumped it's helpful that she's literally down the street from us yes. so that's really nice my the actually the other independent therapist that i'm seeing is also at this place so um i for religious school reasons hope that it works out just because it's very easy um to get there um, but yeah. Yeah, on a final note, check if you're interested in, in doing therapy, check if your insurance covers it because mm. this is something we both figured out and we yeah. both get it on the cheap. Yeah. And guess what? If you can get this kind of quality help on the cheap, you better do it. <laughs> like, <laughs> like 10 to 20 like there's no, a session Yeah, there's just no reason not to. It's one of those things where if you line up cost and value, like you're winning in this situation if you're paying something like that. So mm -hmm. obviously it totally depends on what you have in your coverage, but look into that because that's a, a game changer for sure. Yeah. And I will say, I don't even think that it's always been like this. Like when I first got no. out of college, I wanted to see a therapist. It's actually why I started working with a life coach because therapy wasn't covered. Um, by my insurance, I think like one mental health. I'm sure if we session. followed politics more, we would understand. Yeah, and I'm why. sure there's something, <laughs> but we uh, politics not, makes not our mad. thing. So um, makes us both way too mad. <laughs> so anyway, like yeah, definitely look into that. It's it's becoming just. I, I'm so happy about it, and that's why we both happily happily tell people advocate for it. and advocate for it because we want it to become more normalized and something that more people are talking about because especially millennials our generation people younger than us even people in a, like the generation right above us are a little bit more open to it but i believe that like i personally believe that like our generation is really trying to normalize and advocate for it and i think that it's really important and I just want to really reiterate, because I've had multiple people say, anyone can go to therapy. Anyone deserves the time to take and go and talk to someone, no matter what. Even if you've had the best life and nothing has ever gone wrong, which is impossible by the way, but even if that is you, you still deserve to go to a therapist and to feel like someone has your back. Yeah, I think what that brought up for me was like the other thing, something that I and you have struggled with in the past is asking for help. Mm -hmm. And so for a lot of people, going to a therapist is a form of asking for help because you're admitting, hey, I can't do this all on my own. I could use somebody else. Yeah. Please, please, please don't do that. Get over that immediately because it's not helping you. You're not proving anything to yourself or to anybody else that you don't need something, you don't need help. You're only hurting yourself and your growth, so. Yeah, and who said, you don't have to be like us. You don't have to tell anybody if you're going to therapy. You yeah. can just go on your own, 
and not tell anyone. Tell people that that's when you're going to get your nails done every other week. Like no one needs to know. Um, if you want to advocate for it, great, but but no one needs to know if if you are struggling with that aspect of it. So anyway, we we are lovers of therapy all around. I'm really excited to see how couples therapy continues to go and how much we enjoy it and different things that we learn from it. Ben and I both absorb this kind of stuff like sponges. So we are very, very excited. But I hope that you enjoyed this video and us trying to be very transparent with you as to why we're doing this for our relationship and for our own mental health. And um, if you ever have any questions and you leave us a comment below, but yep. if you ever want to talk to us, I'll leave our, um, our Gmail address down below yep. and you can yep. totally send us um, an email if you have any questions about therapy and you don't want to talk about it publicly. Uh, obviously, we're not going to give any type of like medical or mental health advice, but if you have questions about therapy um, that you don't want to publicize, just send us an email down below. We'd be happy to to tell you guys our experience. But yeah, but yeah thanks so much for watching. Make sure thanks, you like guys. the video, and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Later.